Hello there and a very warm welcome. And I'm here with my beautiful art friend, Kerry Lee. And um, she's got a beautiful, beautiful offering coming up. And we just wanted to share with you a little bit about that because I know what it's like now to be grieving somebody. I lost my dad about three months ago or so. And Kerry and two other colleagues are coming together to offer something that's going to be really, really, really sweet for those of us who are not completely more in a, in a very, very deep grief still, but have moved on a little bit and are ready to honor and acknowledge and really celebrate the person's life in a really special way. And I'd love to ask Kerry then. Kerry, welcome. Sorry, I haven't said welcome yet. Welcome. <laughs> Um, and yes, could you share with us how this is going to work and what people might could expect from getting together in this very, very, very special way? Yeah, well, Synchronicity brought me together with two friends and we're, we're, we've created this offering, this class, a retreat of sorts that we are calling Ancestors, Connection and Creativity. Each breath is the opportunity to love again. And Yes, and it's going to be about paying tribute to someone that you've lost and loved, and it could be a pet, and it could be a human, it, you know, any person that you are grieving, but you're right, it's really not about the, the triage moment of, you know, right when it happened, it's about when you're ready to reflect a little bit about the gifts that that person gave you and the legacy that they, they brought and that kind of thing. And so I'm doing this class with um, Lauren Adorno Weatherford, and she's a shaman, and she also lost her dad a few months ago. And so she's in a similar place, literally feeling the feels of, of grief for her very, very beloved father. And so she'll be leading us in some ceremony and um, some, some grounding and lead us on a guided visualization as well to help us tap into the gifts that were received from having this person or pet in your life and the legacy that, that you want to continue on by having them. And then we've also got my friend, Megan Lincoln, who is a spiritual medium. And so she will be sort of on the sidelines um, waiting for messages from those loved ones. And as we're taking pauses and in the painting process, she'll come in and see if the messages are for anyone in the group. We can't guarantee what will happen. We can't guarantee it will happen with her, but I think it will. It always does when I, when I work with her. Um, and I'll show you here what the images that we're gonna paint. So I call this the, the wheel of life mandala, but basically it's very symbolic and um, the background is just playing and relaxing and just abstract. So just to kind of get us in the, the, the mode of letting paint um, fly, play, move, you do not need any art experience to do this. The, the three circles will represent parts of that person's life and their interactions with you. There'll be words on each of those little like bricks that are, um, that are there and that will really be about the legacy and the gifts from that person and then the symbol in the middle is which piece of that legacy do you want to take and carry forward so that you remain connected to them and their legacy carries on into the future so we're doing this through painting creativity this is absolutely gorgeous i so love it um, just this, this artwork is just, it just draws me to this class so much, like to really honor a person's life in this way, in a very tangible, creative way, and just spend the time, because what I've found is um, life rushes forward very fast when we've lost somebody, and there isn't always the time to sit and really be with the legacy of that person and what they all meant in your life. And I'm getting tears in my eyes as I think about it. It's like, we really don't have the time in our normal um, modern life to to almost have the luxury of that and here's a beautiful space that the three of you are going to create for that so it's so important right it's so important because we want to keep that connection I mean that's what everyone really wants they don't want their loved one to be forgotten you know so, yes. so, yes. so this is a way to do it and then have that piece of artwork around and you'll always feel that connection and know the meaning everyone's will look different the, the colors will be different the symbols will be different because it's your personal connection to, to the loved one Right. And another question I just wanted to ask, Kerry, sometimes people go, oh, you know, this class is too long or something. But tell us a little bit about why it's important to have this length for the class. How yeah, long so is class, it? And yeah, the class is three and a half hours. And so it's an it's a well, where I am, I'm in the United States on the, the, um, the West Coast. So it's a 
it's not a fast moving class because you can't go through this fast. This is not something that you just read and do the check marks, right? This is a really tapping within and then expressing through the paint and the paint has to dry and Megan will come in and she will share her messages and we will do some beautiful relaxation. So it's just not a quick, it's think of it as a retreat. It's really a self-care retreat is what it's about. Absolutely lovely. And I wish you the best with it. And yes, yeah, so this is on the 5th of uh, February. This is on f Sunday, February 5th, 2023. And you can just go to my website there, carrieleeart.com and look for the classes and, and it, you'll be able to find it in there. Fantastic. Thank you. Thank you very much, Kerry. And yes, um, I highly recommend Kerry's work. I've been in her classes and it's so, so enjoyable, fun, lighthearted, even with serious subjects. I know Kerry's strength and she's got strengths that make things feel full of all the feels, but in a, in a beautiful, positive, lighthearted way. So I can't recommend.